Jack Jason, <coughs> excuse me, Hollis Farms this morning. Lay down and got about four hours of sleep. We are up and at them again. Oh, uh, finna take a little road trip with Brad. Oh, uh, filming with a different camera. I've used it a little bit before but I haven't picked it up in a while. This is one of them Olympus handy cams. Uh, it's a pretty, it's the quality on this camera is really good. Y'all let me know what you think. I'm gonna use it today, and I may start using it a little more, but anyway, I am sleepy. It's just breaking daylight, and if it hit the road, I'll be back with y'all in a minute, just like always, and we're going a completely different direction today than we've ever been with y'all. So, y'all comment below and let me know how close I get to y'all. Y'all gonna like this one. I'll be back. All right, y'all. We are loaded up in the toter. We've been going a little while now. Continue straight on to US 278 East. Continue straight on to Pond to Parkway. Siri talking to us. We had to stop at Hardy's. Brad got two double gravy and biscuits. I got the old steak and cheese and some hash browns in Verona, Mississippi. We didn't think we'd ever get out of there, but oh. We are picking to jump back on highway. Straight on the Pontotoc Parkway, then turn left onto the ramp to US 45. Oh, we are fixing to jump back on 45 North, headed towards Tupelo. Turn left onto the ramp to US. y'all we still on highway 45 north come through Corinth Mississippi we're crossing the Tennessee, Tennessee state line now and we still got a long way to go y'all we just came through Henderson Tennessee used to race at a racetrack up here called Garner Town Speedway years ago we are headed to Jackson Tennessee now all right y'all we're going through Milan Tennessee still heading north 45, right down to Highway 45. Alright, y'all notice I don't have a passenger anymore. I told Brad he shouldn't eat that double gravy and biscuit. I'm on say I can't throw him off the toilet here in just a minute. <laughs> it's gonna be rough riding doing what he's doing. We are coming into South Fulton, Tennessee. That's what it say on that water tower right there. Rolling right along. Just about time to get a burger now after we had them biscuits. About to wear off. See that blue sign right there? Welcome to Kentucky. 
rolling right along. Alright y'all, we are on I-69 now, I believe is what it's called. So we finally got off of 45 on the new road. This interstate, we're finally running 70. We hadn't been able to go too fast. We're out run over about 15 people. Welcome to Paducah, it says. Paducah, Kentucky. We're fixing to jump on 24 West and go around Paducah, I think. Alright, y'all, I'm not sure what we're fixing to cross, but this is a big old bridge. Let's see what it say when we get up here. This is the Ohio River. Never crossed this before. I bet there's some big deer up here. Turkeys too. Big old river, ain't it? Long bridge here too. Comes a race truck. Race truck, race truck, who is that? y'all ride this river out, this bridge out with me. Golly. Oh. Too much traffic to put the camera down. Alright, so y'all read this sign. Siri said it. Welcome to Illinois, the land of Lincoln. We rolling today. All right, y'all. We had to stop at the Love Truck Stop. Get us a little fuel. Brad's going to get us a little launch while he's in there. I'm pretty sure we right at where we going. Oh, our destination today is Mount Vernon, Illinois. So I think we're right here at it. We'll get it. Brad, get back in the motorhome. And, uh... We'll eat us a bite, and then we'll see if we can't get to our destination. So, pretty good ride. Not a bad trip up here. About, I guess it took us about seven hours to get here. Not too bad. Nice day. Nice day to be riding. All right, y'all. We thought we was there, but we still got a few more miles. We're getting closer. Close, close, close. Over the airport. Alright y'all, I'm going to give y'all a little sneak peek. Alright y'all, so we made it back. Gave y'all a little sneak peek about what the road trip was about. Been kind of studying and looking for one of them trailers that had hauled both cars for a little while. It's a pretty old trailer, but it's pretty nice and pretty good shape. So we went after it and got it. And now we got to study on it and load it up and fiddle with it. We are lacking just a couple of hours being up 24 hours after we race two nights this weekend. So, out late again tonight. Tomorrow's going to be rough, but just got to deal with it. But anyway, I'll get over there tomorrow, next day, sometime, and we'll 
go over the new trailer and show y'all all it. Like I said, it's not new. It's not just pretty as can be. It's got some dings and scratches and stuff on it. The outside looks pretty good. It needs a good bath, possibly a buffing and a waxing. But other than that, I am happy with it. I don't have to have new. I probably I wish I wouldn't have got the trailer that I got now. But kind of got in a hurry and got it. The trailer will bring good money. That's one thing about buying good stuff. You can usually get good money back for them. So not worried about that. I think we can move the trailer. But this new one's going to be nice. And it pulled good. It's a lot heavier than the trailer. This is an all steel trailer. It's not aluminum. Plus it's bigger and taller. Oh, just a little bit shorter than the other one. I'll show y'all that when we look at it. Uh, it's going to serve the purpose and, and do do really, really great. I think I think we got a good comp combination now. I believe even if I went newer down the road. I thought about one of those lift gate trailers like you see these late models using, but I think this deal here is going to be a little user friendly, more user friendly for what we want to do. It's just going to be perfect. It's going to be perfect. I am excited about it. But anyway, I am so excited. I am about ready to go to sleep. So I am fixing to call it a, it ain't a night anymore. It's morning. But anyway. I'm excited to show y'all this thing next time. So. Anyway, if y'all like or still subscribe to us, Hollis Farms. Hats, t-shirts, and stickers, hollisfarms.com. Appreciate y'all watching. Out of here.